What is up everybody? I hope you're all doing well. This is the New Neighbor Neuron. It's a programmable gain pedal and that's why it's called Gain Intelligence. Uh, you can store up to six presets in this pedal uh, from clean to, to mean really uh, via the preset button on the pedal. You can actually store up to 24 presets via MIDI depending on how you run it because it does have the mini MIDI in and outs on the pedal. Um, and that's really, really cool. Uh, I'm going to let you guys hear it a couple different ways, uh, mainly through a guitar amp, but also direct because it does sound great that way. Um, let's get straight into the, uh, the controls on top. So you've got gain, comp, level, low, mid, and high. And we'll get into how all those sound in the demo, but you also have secondary controls on here that can be accessed via the engage switch. So you hit that switch and hold it down and you can change on the top, you can change actually a gate control. We'll get into that in the demo. You can change uh, the tight control, so how tight the pedal is. There's a tilt control that works really, really well. Now that control is not programmable, it's global, and it just allows you to adapt the sound of the pedal to whatever situation you're in. So if you're using an amplifier, you can adjust accordingly without having to adjust all of your presets that you may have spent so much time saving. Um, you know, so if you're running direct, you might have that dialed differently. It's a very cool uh, control and we'll get into that uh, in the demo. And you also have a presence control. So you can dial in just the right amount of that really top end uh, chime. And I found that really, really uh, useful as well. On the bottom of the pedal, you have your preset button. That's going to allow you to scroll between up to six presets. I stored one in here, but you can store up to six. And then on the right side, you have your engage button. That's true bypass, by the way, and that turns the uh, pedal on and off. So without further yammering on, let's check out the new neighbor, Neuron. Okay, let's check this out. I am using my Sir Bella. It's a 44 watt kind of clean Fender amp. Here's just the guitar into the amp. And here is the Neuron. Thank you. 
Okay, so I just quickly ran through some different sounds there just by manipulating the gain, the lows, uh, the high control, the level. Um, with the gain, as you heard, there's quite a bit of gain there. I can turn it way down and make this so it's basically just a clean pedal. And we can talk about this a little bit more when I do a direct uh, demo of this. That'll be kind of brief, but I do want you guys to hear it direct. But if I turn it off, with the gain all the way off, basically a clean pedal. And you could use that to manipulate either the amp you're using, if you're not happy with it or just wanna add some character or change things you can, or obviously if you're running direct and what have you, that's where that's gonna come in really handy, especially when you start using uh, presets and I'll demo that when we do the direct demo as well. But it gets incredibly clean if you turn the compressor up gets really squishy. Now here's the thing with the compressor that I really dug is instead of cranking gain, especially for a solo, if I had a rhythm tone that was working, what I honestly just stumbled upon was the gain about right there. If I wanted just a little more, almost saturation, and a little bit of squish, I just started adding the comp to it. But you can hear how it adds gain. So for solo tones, um, I thought that sounded really, really cool. Um, because it gave it a bit of a, an amp-like squish. Now we can turn some more gain uh, into that as well. So, tons of gain range. That's how I would use the comp or how I like to use the comp, obviously for clean tones, the compressor uh, is great. Um, I'll address the gate setting in the, uh, the next segment, the direct segment. So we've heard the gain range, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it up and then I'm gonna sweep uh, the low, mid and high. Lows off. Lows all the way up. Pretty, that's pretty big, but you get the idea. Like about right there, here's a mids off. Mids all the way up. Now what I like about this mid circuit is um, it does create a little bit more gain, which is very amp-like. It just depends, you know, I think for that Strat solo, I turned the mids all the way up because it, it created a little bit more gain. And then when I added some comp to it, it was just, it was super fat for that single coil thing. But anyways, I'm digressing. That's the mid setting. That right there is good. And the highs. I can get very dark and watch out. I can get really toothy. 
Uh, just depends on what you're using. About right there is good. Now, as far as the presence controls, these secondary controls, you have to hold down the engage button to get to those. And right now, I think I've got the, uh, the presence really low. So if I hold that down, that's the presence off. If I sweep all the way the other way, presence all the way up now, and let me put the highs back where they were. So that's a little too sizzly for me. Um, but I found that almost off, just a little bit, you know, just a little bit up from off, it sounded good, especially when I started using, adding my highs back in. Now this tilt control is really cool. That is not programmable on this, but it's, it's there so that when you're in different gig situations and say you put maybe six programs in this thing or you're using MIDI to get 24, and you're um, in different situations where you may be running direct, you might be using somebody else's amp, your amp, however it ends up working out, you can use that tilt control to kind of find that global setting without having to rewrite all of your presets. So here's the, uh, the tilt control. Same thing, I have to hold down uh, the engage. it just to the the left of center is where I thought it sounded the best but it just depends on what you're doing and once again what amp you're using and then the tight control all the way to the right it's gonna be tighter less lows all the way to the left much boomier and once again it just depends on what amp you're using i like the tight control the same way actually just a little bit to the left of center and then i added the low end accordingly to get my sounds Okay, let me switch over to direct and we'll listen to the Neuron that way. Okay, so now I've got the Neuron plugged in uh, direct so you guys can hear it that way. Let's start off with just uh, the guitar uh, direct without the Neuron. It's pretty flat. So if I engage the Neuron, now I've got kind of a, a sweet kind of Fender thing going. To dial this in I had to completely change everything on it as compared to the way it was uh, plugged into an amplifier and that's what's great about this pedal I was able to use or enable the uh, obviously the speaker emulator in the box that's why the uh, the lead is now blue uh, the tilt control came in really handy because instead of being to the left I wanted everything to be a little bit brighter and chimier so I actually moved it to the right of center. Um, now the tight control through the amp, I had it, you know, more kind of to the right so that it was tighter, but I wanted more robust low end running direct. So I actually rolled it all the way the other way. So just those two controls alone came in really handy. Now on this one, I can shut the compressor off and it sounds great, but you know, up around noon, it's got this really cool squish. But if you want it to not be so squishy, a little more open. See, I like it about right there. And then gain-wise, like that's really clean, but we can make it so it breaks up a little bit. Now it's breaking up almost like a, I guess like a tweed. I 
like it to break up just a little bit. You know, I don't like my clean tones to be super clean, but just a little bit of breakup is great. There's a highs off. We can get it really chimey now. Also, I did go ahead and turn the presence basically uh, almost all the way up because I really wanted more chime. And I guess that's just gonna vary depending on what DAW you're using and, and guitars and whatnot. But that's why those types of controls are there. Now, the nice thing about this is you can control up to, or I should say save up to six presets uh, on the Neuron just using the preset button. Now I just saved one, but that's where this becomes ideal because if you just showed up with this to whatever gig you're in, whatever those parameters are, um, you could get between a clean tone and then I have a stored uh, crunch tone. back to my clean. Now I could turn that up just a little bit and I'll save it. See what that does. Of course, I can do more gain, you know, whatever you want to do. I can add a bunch of gain to it now. That's the gain all the way up. Now, if you're a metal player, you can hear there's some noise floor happening there because that's just, that's a ton of gain, but that's where the gate comes into play. So check it out. I can adjust that so that there's no noise now. That's a ton of gain. I almost never use gates, but it's because I don't play with that much gain. But if you're a metal player or a gent player, um, you know, that style requires as much silence between the notes as possible because players like that work so hard on their uh, their right hand technique and their muting technique. Um, and to have something buzzing or humming uh, between, uh, you know, those types of, of rhythmic patterns is kind of a drag. So that's where the, the gate comes uh, in really, really handy. So that is the Neuron. Uh, if you've got any further questions, do go to the website because this thing is really deep. Um, there's a lot more to it than I even showed in this video. Uh, go there and check it out. And as always, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and we will see you next time.